the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 75, Joshua 13 to 17. Caleb, Joshua's pride. The land of Canaan was distributed to Israel by casting lot. Caleb transformed his privilege into a conquering mission instead and occupied Hebron with faith. First point. Joshua was able to succeed in distributing the land with the help of Caleb. Distributing the conquered land proved to be more difficult than the actual conquering. The reason why Moses became so angry at the tribes of Reuben and the gods five years ago when they asked for their land was because of the sensitive nature of this topic. If we have found favor in your eyes, they said, let this land be given to your servants as our possession. Do not make us cross the Jordan. Moses said to the Gadites and Lubenites, Should your fellow Israelites go to war while you sit here? Why do you discourage the Israelites from crossing over into the land the Lord has given them? Five years later, the ever-sensitive matter of distributing land came into full force and Joshua had to handle this wisely. This was an extremely sensitive matter for every single member in the nine and a half tribes. We remember that Caleb was to get first choice in land for his decision and Kadesh Barnea. But Caleb, to everyone's surprise, chose the land of Hebron, which was yet to be conquered. Caleb completely changed the mood of the sensitive atmosphere. Second point, the land was distributed in four ways according to the laws of a kingdom of priests. The first step was to do accordingly to the number that was taken during census. The second step was to set up a reader who would be responsible for the tasks. The people responsible were to be selected fairly from the 12 tribes. The third step was by casting lot. The fourth step was to leave the land that was yet to be conquered. During the process of distributing the land west to Jordan, Joshua emphasized once again in front of Israel that the Levites were not to inherit land. What we also learn is that the Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh all kept their promise that they would fight until all the land had been conquered. Although the Levites were not given land, they were able to earn a living by doing God's work. Third point, Caleb, at the age of 85, gifted to God the privilege he was given at age 40. Forty years ago, after the twelve leaders went to spy on Canaan, ten excluding Joshua and Caleb made very disappointing reports. When Joshua and Caleb tried to convince the people that they should go ahead and conquer Canaan with faith, they were almost stoned to death. But the whole assembly talked about stoning them. Then the glory of the Lord appeared at the tent of a meeting to all the Israelites. At this time, God gave Caleb the privilege to be the first person to choose his land once entering Canaan. But 45 years later, Caleb re-gifted it to God the gift of joy by making a choice of faith. Caleb showed real courage at age 40. 
Caleb showed the same courage 45 years later when he was 85 years old. Such courage and attitude of Caleb brightened the atmosphere. Thus, Caleb brought immense joy to Joshua and the Israel nation. Fourth point, Hebron belonged to Abraham, then to Caleb, and then to David. Abraham purchased a land in Canaan, which was the cave of Machpelah. There, he buried his wife Sarah. 500 years later, Caleb used his priority card on Hebron. And then, 500 years from then on, David became appointed as king of the Judah tribe in Hebron. In the course of time, David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up to one of the towns of Judah? He asked. The Lord said, Go up. David asked, Where shall I go? To Hebron. The Lord answered. The length of time David was king in Hebron over Judah was seven years and six months. Fifth point. Joshua told his own tribe Ephraim to follow in the footsteps of Caleb. In the process of distributing land, the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh, the descendants of Joseph, complied to Joshua. Joshua agreed and offered them a suggestion. Joseph's descendants complained that they were only given one portion for an inheritance when they were numerous in number. So Joshua answered that the hill country of Ephraim was indeed too small, and so they were to go up into the forest and clear the land of the Pharisees and Lephites. Joshua, moreover, said to the tribe of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, that they were too numerous and powerful, and so they were to be allotted the hill country as well. Joshua warned them that the Canaanites had chariots fit with iron, but as they were strong, they would be able to drive the Canaanites away. This was all possible thanks to Caleb's choice. Joshua, moreover, did not give any privileges to his own tribe. He told the members of his tribe to think and act like Caleb and make the decision of faith. As such, Caleb's choice became the standard for distributing land. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.